The search continues for 118 people still unaccounted for in the Surfside condo building collapse. Today, officials announced search crews pulled three more bodies out of the rubble. So the death toll is now at 27. Here's a look at all the victims of the partial condo collapse that have been identified now. The rest of the building was demolished last night to expand the search area. And here you see a side by side video showing the, the rest of the condo building coming down. Officials are hoping this area will now be safer for their search and rescue efforts. All this as Tropical Storm Elsa begins to take aim at Florida. Surfside is no longer in the storm's path, but rain could still slow down the operations there. Officials say the chances of finding anyone alive in the rubble are close to zero. It's a monumental effort, one we've never seen here in Florida. On Friday, Jacksonville Fire Rescue crews returned from their deployment, and this weekend, firefighters from Gainesville came back. News 4 Jacks reporter Vic Michalucci tells us they didn't find any survivors, but they hope they help some family members find closure. These are some of the local first responders helping out in Surfside. This team of eight is from Gainesville. They are specially trained to work with cranes, heavy machinery, and detection equipment. But they'll admit they've never seen anything like this. On the pile and below. Search and rescue teams have not stopped looking for survivors in Surfside. I don't think people can put into context how hard these guys worked. The first first responders were from the Miami area. But in the days following, other teams came in to help, like Task Force 8, Marion County, Ocala, and Gainesville Fire Rescues. The work is extremely difficult um, physically, mentally. It's extremely dangerous. They make it you know, look easy. District Chief Don Campbell leads the Gainesville Urban Search and Rescue Team. They finished their mission this weekend. It wasn't easy. They did not find any survivors. However, they were part of the teams who pulled bodies of the missing from the rubble. You want to do whatever you can to try to serve those people that have been, you know, so um, traumatically affected. And, you know, even if you're bringing closure to them and giving their family, giving them their family member back in some sort of closure, if that's the best outcome that, that can come from it, they still have a desire to do that. Supporting each other with prayers and camaraderie. This team's deployed before helping after hurricanes in the Florida Keys and the Bahamas. Last night, a demolition crew took down what was left of the Champlain Towers to make it safer for the search teams. Some people on the outside looking in have questioned why this is taking so long. If you um, lift or cut something wrong, you could cause a secondary collapse, a cause a void if someone was you know, still alive in one of those voids and you cause that void to collapse or fill up with debris, um, then that might not be a space that, that someone could survive in. So everything you're doing is surgical. Um, on, a, on a gigantic pile of debris. The task force eight firefighters are back home now. They get four days off to reset their gear, de-stress and spend some time with their families before they get back on the job responding to emergency calls in their area. They are, however, preparing for whatever tropical storm Elsa may bring. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.